Vice President Mahmoud Baumia, former President John Mahama, and former Deputy Minister Kessel Atuforsen have all proposed remedy to save Ghana's crippling economy in the past few days. But how feasible are these proposals? Can they really revive our economy? Well, let's seek some expert analysis on this and speak to Daniel Nim, who is joining us on Zoom. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome to this week. Uh, good afternoon. Good. Dr. Baumia says if we are to reduce our reliance on foreign goods, the economy will get on track. But how do we do that, uh, per your assessment? Yes, thank you very much, uh, Winston. I have indicated that the, to be able to uh, minimize our, our reliance on imported goods, uh, we need strong political will. And there again, it course on leadership to be able to drive that. Why am I saying so? Uh, if you look at the people who are into that space, people who have been importing the pottery, the rice, and then the sugar, they are the people that finance political parties. They are people who are highly affiliated to political parties, more importantly, the party of the day. And because they are financiers, even though we may have some policies towards that direction, uh, to be able to kind of applied our policy has been a challenge. So, yes, it is possible, but we need that strong political way that will say, look, uh, regardless whether the people or the actors in that particular space are political faithfuls, yes, there's a need for us to be able to uh, minimize the importation of imported goods. I am of the view there's a way even to go about it, not necessarily taking the business from the political uh, affiliate. What ought to be done in my respective view is that, look, Government have to negotiate with the actors in that particular space. So, for instance, we'll be producing local rice. Uh, people have imported rice from other economies. So you tell them, look, to start with, make sure that you invest 40%, you minimize 40% of your imported rice and invest that money into local rice. And you must also guarantee, as a government must also guarantee them of ready market. So, for instance, institutions, state institutions, that government do uh, 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 provide them some kind of assistance it should be mandatory for them to consume local rice. In that, you are providing market for those who import the rice from other economies. Right. Then gradually, they minimize the importation. Then we kind of stimulate consumption of the local rice. So these okay. are some of the things that ought to be done. All right. Danny, we are grateful for your time.